Hey guys, welcome to Sprightly Kids. And today I'm going to be painting on these wood ornaments again. So let's get started. So I already painted the rainbow thing on the back of these ornaments off camera. But if you want to see me um, paint the rainbow on these ornaments, see um see the um see the video um see the video of me painting on the ornaments where I painted a chicken monkey and a bird seal. Link in the description below. So the reason why I painted the rainbow off camera is because I thought it would be boring to start off with rainbow every um, episode. So I thought I would paint it off camera and then I would get to the fun part or painting the front. You know what I'm saying? So let's get started. Starting with this one, for this one I kind of had a little bit different plan because I wanted to turn this one into a lollipop. So for the lollipop color, I'm going to be painting the painting it um, with the purple or actually it's not really purple, it's a lavender color. For this color, I mixed purple, pink and white to get this color. And I have to say that this color is so vibrant. I really like it. I'll show you when the rest of it is done. So now I'm going to let this to dry. While the lollipop is drying, I'm going to move on to the second ornament. So um, I'm painting a creature on here again. So this one is another animal merge. But this time it's actually an, a horse and a spider or a horse. Or. I'll show you when the rest of the legs are done. So now the, the four legs, the four dark purple legs are done. I'm going to move on to the four, um, four light purple legs. part of the horse is done. I'm going to start painting the horse part. I'll show you when it's done. Now time to let this to dry. So now that this is all dry, I'm going to start outlining it. I'll show you when the rest of the outlines are done. Now that the outlines are done, I also put on the face. I'm going to apply a coat of the matte Mod Podge. I'm applying this coat of Mod Podge to protect the paint from chipping off and um, that it'll keep it durable for, for a long time. I'll show you when the rest of it is done. So now time to let this to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to go back to this ornament. So I changed my mind about the idea. So I decided that I wanted to put a landscape instead. And I thought that um, it would be great to make the sky purple. So let's get painting. So um, I'm first going to paint the mountains. And, I, and I'm going to paint the tops white like it's snow on the mountains. Since they're done, I'm going to move on to the rest of the mountains. So I'm painting them with navy blue. And I'll show you when that's done. So now that the mountains are done, and I almost forgot to mention that I put a third mountain in between the two mountains off camera. So now I'm going to start painting the river with the with this color called the island blue. Now that the little river is done, I'm going to start painting 
painting the grass was red, and I, I kind of like this color because it makes the landscape painting more interesting. Like, even though grasses aren't really red, I think um, it's still pretty interesting. And I'll show you when that's done. And now it's time to let this to dry. Now that this is all dry, I'm going to move on to the um, last detail. I'm going to start by painting the tree. I will show you when that's done. Now it's time to let this to dry. Now that this is all done, I'm going to start outlining with a Sharpie again. I will show you when the rest of the outlines are done. Now that all of my outlines are done, um, oh wait, I'm not, I'm actually not done yet, I forgot. I'm also gonna put some little birds on here with my Sharpie. Okay, now this thing is done for real. And I'm going to apply a coat of Mod Podge on this to protect it. I'll show you when it's done. And now time to let this to dry. So now that this ornament is all done and all dry, I'm going to start by attaching this, um, putting on the string. Um, I'm just going to tie a knot. And there, it's done. I'll show you when the other ornament has the string also. And this one's done also. So this is the finished result, and I really like it a lot, especially the landscape. Um, at first, I was a little bit worried because I, I really don't do landscapes that often, but I think it came out pretty decent looking. I like how um, realistic the river is, you know what I mean, and I like the trees. And like how the mountain is big and I like the birds also so um, and this one this is a spider and a horse or a spores with this one I'm not so sure about this because um, I really didn't it's so small and like I didn't take up the space of it I could have um, made it bigger or maybe I could have kept it like that but Maybe I could have like added rhinestones or flowers on it, but that's okay. It's still nice, and I wanna I wanna introduce you to this ornament. I actually got this as a souvenir from this from this state here in the U.S. called Arizona, and I really like it. Um, and as you can tell from the side here, it is a different species of tree compared to this one. So these two are both my landscape ornaments. Which one is better, do you think? Um, I like this one because um, it's unique and the colors are kind of wrong, which makes me happy. But with this one, I like it because it's realistic and this one's a different species of tree. So that was my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching Sprightly Kid. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to be cute and creative. Bye!